a train overtakes two persons who are walking in the same direction in which train is going at the rate of 2 km per hour and 4 km per hour and passes them completely in 9 and 10 seconds respectively. Then the length of the train is. So a train of length L passes two people in 9 seconds and 10 seconds respectively. And speed of these two person is 2 km per hour and 4 km per hour. So we need to find out length of the train here. Here same train passes these two people. So here length of the train is equal to distance itself because there is no other platform or any other thing, any other train here. So there is only one train. So length of the train is equal to distance itself. So distance is equal to, we know, speed into time. Here speed is equal to relative speed of these two people because both train and these two people are traveling in same direction. I will take relative speed of these two people that is 4 minus 2. They are walking in the same direction so relative speed will be equal to the speed that is 4 minus 2 kilometer per hour. That is 4 minus 2 kilometer per hour I will convert it as meter per second that is into 5 by 18. Then time is equal to one tra uh, the train will overtake first person in 9 seconds, second person in nine, 10 seconds. So I will multiply, I will take the product of these two people. It is a short trip. Then speed into time. That means here 9 into 2 is equal to 18. 2 and 2 will cancel. That is 5 into 10, 50 meter is the length of the train. Here you can solve this question in another, another method also. I will show that. So next method for this is apply two equations that is in the first case distance traveled by the train or by overtaking first person in the second case means distance traveled by the train while overtaking the second person in both case speed of train is s so in first case distance traveled by the train when overtaking first person is s minus 2 is the relative speed speed of train s and speed of first person is 2 km per hour so i will convert it as meter per second because time is in second so time taken by the first train to uh, time taken by the train to overtake first person is 9 second this is same as distance traveled by the train when overtaking the second person that is speed is equal to speed in second case is equal to s minus 4 and i will convert it as meter per second then time taken for overtaking the second person is 10 second so here this will cancel and minus minus 4 18 minus minus 18 is equal to 10 s minus 40 that means s is equal to 10 s minus 9 is equal to s 40 minus 18 is equal to 22 so s is equal to 22 i will apply this in first equation that is s minus 2 into 5 by 18 into 9 this is the distance so that is 20 into 5 by 18 into 9 9 into 2 18 2 into 10 20. So, distance is equal to 50 meter. Train of length is equal to 50 meter. So, option B is your answer.